Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because usually I'm teaching you how to care for your pets. Today I'm actually going to be teaching you some pretty interesting things about caring for your plants. But it's still going to revolve around some really cute animals and that is alpacas. Be sure to subscribe for more videos about animals. Now before I start off the video, I do want to give a shout out to Amore Handmade. They make beautiful collars for dogs and if you buy a collar from them, you are supporting indigenous artists that are also women down in Mexico. So I love their collars, I love supporting them and here is the discount code for that. One of the most amazing things about alpacas and llamas is that they produce one of the best natural fertilizers. And besides their droppings being higher quality than most other farm animals, there's actually another really convenient thing about it. You don't have to compost it in order to use it. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to use the alpaca droppings to help your plants and why it's so beneficial. Alpaca droppings or manure is usually called beans because they come out in oval shapes that kind of look like coffee beans. These beans are extremely beneficial fertilizer because they have the perfect levels of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. This is needed for plants to grow strong roots, leaves, and flowers. Alpaca beans can increase the health of the soil and reduce disease and pest problems. They are especially great for delicate plants and vegetable gardens. Now, one of the best things about them is that you do not need to compost them. You don't have to wait any amount of time to use them. You can apply the beans directly to your plants. With other types of animal waste, you can actually burn the plant if you apply the manure when it's fresh. Alpaca beans will not burn your plants because they slowly release nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in a way that is very beneficial and fertilizes plants over time. And best of all, there's really no smell to them. And this is why I actually like to mix the beans in with my potting soil or garden beds. Beans can really improve the soil texture and have water holding capacity. And because the alpaca's digestive system is so efficient, these beans will not hold seeds that can sprout in your garden. Let's go over the benefits one more time. Naturally organic source of fertilizer. Perfect ratio of slowly released nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. Eco-friendly, carbon neutral, almost odorless, water holding capacity, and best of all, chemical free. So what I like to do is include these beans when repotting my house plants. After that, there's no need to fertilize. It really makes for great soil. I also include a very large amount of beans in prepping my garden bed. Now, one of the other options you have for these beans is making a tea for your plants. Now, don't mistake this for a tea for people. This isn't like the super expensive coffee that people like to buy. Uh, this is a tea just for your plants, and here's how to make it. To make alpaca tea, you use one cup of alpaca beans for one gallon of water. Use warm water to mix in with the alpaca beans. Cover and let sit for 24 hours. Stir and then water the plants. Afterwards, you can use these used beans to a soil mixture or compost. I like to use this for succulents. Of course, you don't want to overwater or over fertilize your succulents, so I don't use it often, but when I do, it really perks them up. I'll also use the tea for plants I have not repotted. Now remember, the manure is only as good as what the animals are being offered to eat, so they do need a nutritious, diet of quality hay and pellets in order to produce the best beans for your plants. So after feeding the animals, we collect the droppings and then dry them and clean out any rocks or sticks that were picked up when collecting. So the beans go through a process before we send them out. Now I've actually been selling these beans locally. If I do get more interest for it, I'm thinking of uh, selling them online. If I do start selling them online, you'll be able to find that information in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you got to enjoy learning about this animal's poop. Subscribe for more fun animal videos and you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I'll see you guys next time.